The beauty of having injected Botox for 25 years now is that I really have kind of figured out, and along with my colleagues, a lot of the off-label things that we can do beautifully with Botox. On-label uses of Botox are to improve the frown lines, to improve the forehead lines, and to improve the creases on the sides of the eyes. But the thing is, is that if you understand the musculature and anatomy of the face, you can do some amazing things that are not just line related, that are really, you know, used to improve someone's beauty, someone's facial features. Among the earliest things I, I learned and can do very well is to shape the person's eyebrow. Um, some people like an arch over here. Some people like their arch to be more in the middle. Some people like their whole brow to be lifted. And I can certainly do that quite easily with Botox injected, what we say off label, which I'm allowed to do as a physician. Uh, another thing I can do really well is there's some people who have different nasal deviations, often after they've had a surgical nose job or rhinoplasty as it's called, when they smile, the nose can go on one side or the other. And just by manipulating a little bit of Botox, I can straighten their nose. Another nice thing I can do is I can lift the corners of the mouth. There's a muscle right here that goes from the corner of the mouth to the jawline. And when we inject a little Botox into it, it can lift the corners of the mouth without having to do filler or anything more invasive. That's a nice procedure. Another thing I'm noticing is as people age, little asymmetries in their face or the way they smile or the way they make a facial expression can become more pronounced on one side or the other. For example, a sneer can become something that changes the way they smile, so they smile more on one side. And I can pretty easily fix sneers on either side by by injecting the muscles that cause the sneer, which is sort of somewhere below, below the nose and the upper lip, depending on the person. So that's another nice uh, sort of off-label use of Botox we use. Um, the most popular use of Botox in Asia is to inject what we call the masseter. This is the muscle that causes people to chew. And a lot of dentists and oral maxillofacial surgeons will do this for people who have TMJ, who have grinding of the teeth and pain at night or, you know, any sort of issue with, with tooth grinding or chewing. But we do it for beauty because this causes a square face if the muscle's too big. So if we just weaken the muscle a little, not to the extent that it changes the function of the muscle, but what it does is it actually makes the muscle a little bit smaller and then that causes the face to have a much more streamlined and oval appearance. And that, like I said, is the most popular use of it to fix a square jaw, as they call it, in Asian countries. Uh, the other thing that people love is, it's all over Instagram, is the Botox lip flip. All that is really, is I've been doing it for years, is essentially putting a little bit of Botox all along the lip line the upper lip line to reduce wrinkles is when I started doing it. Those smokers lines that people get even when they don't smoke. Certain romance languages, especially Spanish, people tend to enunciate their words by pursing their lips. And so that causes these lines. And so I use Botox there to improve these lines. And then in, in turn, what it does is the Botox itself, when injected properly, can cause a little eversion of that upper lip and that's the lip flip, and it makes the lip look a little plumper and a little bigger and a little nicer without having to use filler. The last one I wanted to tell you about are the things I can do on the neck that most people really don't know how to do. Um, there's a muscle, it has a very big name, but we abbreviate it SMAS, S-M-A-S, that attaches from the jawline to the collarbone, which is called the clavicle. And basically the, the whole area of the SMAS that um, attaches to the jawline, pulls down the jawline and pulls down, makes this look heavy and saggy. So when I inject along this, this mass, along the jawline, basically that allows the cheek muscles to pull this all up and give somebody a tighter, firmer, pulled up, lifted, streamlined look on the jawline. Now the same thing, there's some band-like muscles called the platysma that basically 
when you bite, they come out. And what happens as you get older with, with, you, with gravity, they start sagging. So again, what we do like the masseters, I put a little bit of Botox into those and that causes them to shrink a little because they're not so tightly clenched with, at rest as, as it, they do when you get older. And so that causes them to look smaller and so the whole neck looks lifted. It's kind of an illusion. It's a lovely one. And the last thing we do is it's mass in the lower neck can often become sort of wrinkly. So this is called the turkey neck, right? Like gobble, gobble. This is the platysmal muscles. But down here where the smas becomes loose, it looks like chicken skin. I can also inject very superficially in the very superficial skin itself, little blebs of Botox all around here and it beautifully smooths that chicken skin appearance which nobody thinks you can do without a laser. Nobody thinks Botox can do that. So those are some of the tricks I can do. And you know what? Every few months, there's a new one. So come on by and ask me because I'm, I'm constantly inventing new ways to inject Botox and new things we can fix. Have a great day.